Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. I'm your host, Tony. Today I have for you Founders, a Dirty Bastard. Now this is a Scotch Ale come in, coming in at 8.5% ABV and 50 IBUs. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Get it in glass and see what we got. Now I had mentioned in my last review that I would be doing my favorite Scotch Ale in this in my next review which is this one. Uh, and yes, uh, Founders Dirty Bastard is my favorite Scotch Ale. And from the looks of it, it's got a really nice mahogany color, nice uh, amber, or not amber, uh, ruby tinges throughout. Very clear beer. Or clear beer. Uh, let's say clear beer. <laughs> you can't really get it that great on the camera, but you see right through the beer, really nice looking. Um, didn't pour it too horribly aggressive. Let's swirl it up a little bit. Eh, nice carbonation, but not too much head retention on this one. Um, really excited about this because I, I, it's one of my favorite beers, but I've never actually sat down and did a proper dissect on it. I, you find a beer that you like drinking, you drink it don't really think too much about it. You just enjoy, kick back and enjoy the beer. Anyways, go ahead and get a rum on it. Okay, getting really nice caramel sweetness, uh, some toffee sweetness, uh, a little bit of that peat smoked malt in there. A uh, little bit of dark fruits in there as well. Well, let's go ahead and get a taste on it, guys. Cheers. Okay, definitely getting a nice peat smokiness in there. A little bit of hot bitterness. Uh, definitely, definitely getting uh, caramel sweetness, toffee sweetness. Um, getting a little bit of a a little bit of a um, like a candied dark fruit character in there. <clears throat> um, the reason I like this so much is that it's got it's got a pronounced peat smokiness to it, but it's not overpowering the rest of the beer. Um, it's the 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 sweet. Uh, caramel and toffee characteristics really play very nicely with that peat smoked malt. Um, I don't know, maybe I have given it a thought just you know subconsciously kind of dissected, uh, subconsciously dissected the beer, just never really uh, consciously thought about it. What I really like about this, uh, as opposed to Oscar Blues. Old Chub is uh, Oscar Blues, uh, the Old Chub, uh, Oscar Blues Old Chub. Old Chub, uh, their Scotch Ale, had a sugary sweetness to it, whereas this has sweet caramel, sweet toffee, uh, there's candied fr uh, dark fruits, uh, lend sweet, uh, flavors lend sweetness to the beer, <clears throat> as opposed to a separate sugariness, which uh, leaves the beer a little disjointed like an old chub which is still a really great tasting beer this gets a better score because that sweetness is coming along with caramel with toffee with that candy dark fruit character um, wow but all in all I mean absolutely fantastic beer um, I would give it an A because there's got to be better scotch out, out there somewhere. You know, I think I may have found it, but I guess you guys have to stay tuned for my next review to find out what it is. Um, but I'm not sure yet. It, but it might just be the best scotch ale around. Um, but hey. So, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite Scotch L is, and uh, if I can get a hold of it, 
I'd love to try it and review it and see what I think about it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of this. I really appreciate it. Um, life's too short. Go get a great tasting beer and drink it. That seemed a little disjointed. Hey, just drink amazing beers, guys. And uh, I think I stole, stole that from somebody. Anyways, uh, cheers. Get out of here. Uh, thanks again.